Law number three, conceal your intention. Now, the law states that anyone who blabs about their plans will find themselves and their plan failing, which is true. Have you ever had, you know, a moment where you celebrated too early, right? They say you, you counted your eggs too early uh, before they hatched, right? I hope I'm not butchering some of these cliches, but you get the point. The point is sometimes we celebrate too early. You talk about sports. A team might hit, let's use basketball because that's a sport that I'm more familiar with. Now, a team might hit, you know, a, a clutch shot. But after they hit their shot, they celebrate it. And guess what? There was maybe 0.8 seconds left in the game. The other team calls a timeout. They set their play up. And they get the shot off. And guess what? They hit the shot. Ouch. Like, we've all seen this, right? Or, or I'll give you another example. You had a plan, a business plan, or an idea, and you told a few people about it. Yeah, I'm planning on doing this, and this is going to be my launch date, and this is the, the vision around it. A month later, before you were even close to actually developing your idea, somebody launches your idea, and now you can't launch. We've seen this. Copyrights businesses ideas get launched because someone spoke about them too early to the wrong people and the reason why i bring that up is because you don't know the intentions of those that you're sharing your vision your plan your goals your objectives with you have no idea what their intentions are right and so that's the key you have to conceal your intentions and allow those that you're you know communicating with to share their intentions I know, I know. It's not the best. It, it seems like it's a little tricky and, and a little sneaky, but this is the way of the world. Right? So keep that in mind. Just concealing your intentions will allow you to preserve and be more mysterious, which means you're going to have a lot more impact and have more influence later on. Right? So don't forget that. Anyone who blabs about their plans will find them to fail. But how can you use this principle in your daily lives, right? In today's society, I gave you two examples preliminary, right? So keep that in mind. You can use it in, the, in those settings. And those are just examples for you to keep in mind. Now, concealing your intentions means keeping your goals, right? And your dreams close to your chest. And then you work towards them every single day. Every single day that you have breath in your lungs, you're going to work towards those goals and those objectives. And that should be your goal. That should be your intention, right? So you keep working on it. Keep working on it. And as you get closer to establishing yourself, maybe that's a good time to begin establishing a team, right? Put some people around you that's going to help you accomplish the task or the objectives that you've been working towards all this time. That's the key. Now, this law allows you right and really it's all about the importance of discretion keeping your plans and your intentions to yourself how disciplined can you be to do that not for anybody else but for you how disciplined can you be to keep your mouth shut that's really what it's saying because a lot it's about understanding when you reveal your plans you're giving others the opportunity to counter them and the potential to prevent you from achieving them. And I'll give you some examples in the in the business world. It could mean not announcing your plans, right, for expansion until they're ready in motion. In order to prevent competitors from taking similar actions and stealing your market share, I call these folks haters, but they are intelligent. They're smart. Everybody needs haters. You need them because the naysayers are the ones that are going to inspire you and motivate you. Right? But don't under, under, underestimate your haters. Or really, it will be the end of you. The minute you start to take them for granted and you underestimate them and the power that they actually have, that's when you fall. Now, let's move on to the political setting. Right? And in that space, it could mean that Revealing your plans or strategy, right? Until it's ready in action. Like 
if you have a policy or something that you're trying to get across or a motion that you're trying to pass, get the wheels moving before you get to that, you know, that meeting or that board um, voting table and, and, you know, presenting your idea or pitching it, get some things in motion, right? So that you can maintain the element of surprise. So when you show up, you're not saying I'm about to start. You can say, here are the stats to what I've already done, right? And at that point, that's when you potentially gain an advantage over your opponents, right? Or your rivals, so that's another way that you can use it in the political space if that's where you're navigating. So it can be applied in so many different settings.